with smart, curious people who are doing interesting things, studying interesting things that I don't know anything about, and I can hear from them what they're working on, what they're doing. I get to work with young people that I get students coming into my class and as I get older and older and slower and slower these students come in with their youth, their energy, their curiosity and that, that gives me some of that energy and some of that curiosity. I would like to teach about the relationship between thinking and walking and in this course we would it would meet twice a week. At the first meeting, we would sit around a table and we would discuss and we would read um, the literature and philosophy from people who took long walks. And then the second meeting, we would walk. We would walk downtown, we would walk in nature, we would walk, we would be, take different sorts of walks, wandering through the city, we would hike in the woods, we would maybe climb uh, some hills. and. Um, discuss as we walk, but with no books, just talking. There's a high percentage of luck involved in every profession. Um, and luck tends to come to people who are ready for it. So you want to be prepared, you want to be persistent, and you want not to get discouraged. When you have a failure, when something doesn't work, those are always the moments when most people drop out. Yeah. And if you go through the failure and keep going and just recover from the failure and um, proceed further, then that is really what separates in my experience. I actually find watching scary movies hard. People think I love to watch scary movies, but I actually sit in scary movies like this with my hands in my ears and like, uh, and that may be why I, I work on them. I think scary movies often, because they're dealing with things that are make us frightened and anxious, they are uh, they they tell us something about what's not working in the society. Um, where our where we have conflicts, where we don't uh, feel comfortable about things, scary movies are ways of dealing with that. They throw light on that, and they also um, give a shape to anxieties that we may not be able to localize. Country dreams, uh, and it would be all about those of us who go down to the honky tonk karaoke bars in the center of Nashville and we sing Ring of Fire and uh, Stand By Your Man and all the great country classics um, uh, in front of an audience and um, uh, see if we, we actually can do it. Your education is to prepare you for a professional career and for adulthood, but its most important quality is that it emancipates your mind, that it frees your mind. I would reiterate that, I would insist on that.